At the heart of Thailand's sixth largest city, Chiang Mai, lies a second, 700-year-old city, surrounded by castle walls and a moat. Within the protection of these battlements lies what the locals call the Old City. Separate from the hustle and bustle of modern life that goes on outside of its walls, Chiang Mai Old City is a cultural and spiritual epicentre. Within its two square kilometres, there's over 300 temples and shrines where one can relax, breathe out and contemplate the universe. Or perhaps just drop in for a quick selfie with the Buddha. Within these decoratively gilded structures can be found a peace and tranquility rarely observed in our busy lives. A chance to meditate upon our existence. To ask deeper questions of ourselves. Perhaps come face to face with our inner demons. Chiang Mai offers many such retreats where one can free one's mind from the mundane and truly relax. Outside of these temples, the monks go about their day-to-day -day lives in much the same way everyone else does. They're set apart from society only by their bright coloured robes and lack of hair. Walking about the streets on various errands, on their way to or from school, shopping or socialising with friends, the same way you or I would. Nonetheless, their lives are spent devoted to the teachings of the Buddha and the rituals of Buddhism. Heading back to the old city, it was life as usual. The zombie apocalypse hadn't yet started, and Somfet Market was its normal busy self. Food guides were shoving tourists around, explaining to them that Thai people use fish sauce for saltiness, and the seeds are the hottest part of the chilli. To the vendors, it was just another day at work. Although the old city is small and its many laneways allow you to quickly walk from place to place, these small tuk-tuks are a fun and inexpensive way to get around. Handy if it's raining too, which it quite often does for a few minutes here and there. 50 kilometres away from the castle walls, about an hour in a van which picks you up from your accommodation, is Flight of the Gibbon. Here, nestled in the rainforest surrounding Chiang Mai, Flight of the Gibbon offers an exhilarating experience flying through the trees like a monkey. You start with baby steps at first, but quite soon the fun and excitement really begin. Okay, come on, two, go. Woohoo! Okay, come the sights, sounds and smells of the rainforest excite your senses as you take a short trek through the jungle. Then, very soon, you're barreling down the longest zip line in Asia. 800 meters. Up all the way. Up, up all the way. Okay, one, two, one, two, go! All too soon, the rainforest no longer echoes with our monkey calls, and I find myself wishing I could go back to the very first zipline and do it all over again. But it was time to return to the old city. The crowded and busy Sunday night market at Taipei Gate is a stark contrast to the rainforest canopy. <laughs> Tourists from every part of the world walk amongst the bright colours and vibrant sounds of the market stalls. The music provided by local buskers adds even more to the atmosphere. Food stalls are plentiful with a seemingly endless variety of delicious treats on offer. It can be very difficult to choose from such a delightful array. Freshly cooked and refreshingly cheap is something for almost everyone's tastes. Behind its protective walls, in its colourful streets and lanes, 
amongst its many temples and statues. Woven into the rich tapestry of its history, the true story of Chiang Mai soon makes itself evident. The story of its people. Chiang Mai never stops reminding you that a true feeling of harmony can only come from a sense of community, a sense of belonging, a sense of peace. <laughs>